In this lecture, we are going to learn how can we insert text into the sketches. So text are used to represent any specification of part or any more details. You can find the text command here in the sketching tool text. So to create the text, I will click on this command. Now first thing to create the text is select a start point to determine height and orientation. So we need to select a starting point. Let's say I will click here and for this line, it is representing the height of text. So let's say by height of text will be like this. I will click here. When I second click this, another window will open. In this another window, we are going to insert the text we need. For example, here I'm going to insert the text. Let's say this is Creo parametric. And when I drag this, hold down the left click onto this window and drag it, you can see the text. Now for this text, you can see multiple options here. These options are very similar to just like we have Microsoft Office or Microsoft Word. So first thing you can see is a symbol icon. If I click on this symbol, you can insert multiple types of symbols using this symbol library. Just click on the symbol that we want to insert and that symbol will be inserted. I will click close. After that we can select the font style. Click on this arrow. You have multiple types of font style. You can see all the font style that are available in the Creo. So I take any font style. Let's say this is font. Now this is a 2D font. Now for this font we can specify the alignment. Okay, here I'm going to take some different font. Let's say Arial Bold. We can specify any alignment. Now this alignment can be with respect to horizontal and also vertical. So we can select left, center or right. Let's say I'm selecting center. So this will be selected. At center we have specified the line. So I will specify the middle here. So it is going to take the reference of initial point we have specified. And then we have aspect ratio. So aspect ratio is basically ratio of width and height. By default it is 1. Let's say when I when let's say when it is 2, press enter. You can see the text are expanding. So let's say I will insert this value 1. You can also pick this handle and drag it. And then we have slant angle. So this angle is going to represent the angular position. So right now the angle is 0. When I pick up this bar and drag it, you can see the angle is changing. Similarly, we have spacing. So right now by default the spacing is 1. We can change it. You can increase it. You can also decrease it. So by default, let's say take it 1 and click OK. So in this way, you can see we have inserted the text. I will press escape. Now I will go to the arc tool. I will draw an arc like this. Now for this arc I will go to text and from this end point I'm going to specify any height. So let's say this is the height. Here insert the text like this is this is the arc. Give it any text. Now I want to place this text onto the arc. For this we have option here place along curve. Make a check on this and select the curve. Click on this curve. Now text are aligned onto this curve. So here we need to adjust the spacing between them. Just increase or decrease the spacing with respect to the curve. You will see one more option that is kerning. So kerning is useful whenever we have a text like for example we have I insert A and V, capital A and capital V. So kerning it is so kerning is useful in case of such type of text. It is going to create a proper gap between these type of text. Check on kerning and click OK. So by this way you can create different types of text. I will press escape one more time.